Recently, I wanted to update the social media links on my channel banner, then discovered that YouTube had removed them. Here's how the links appeared on my channel banner before the change, and here's how my channel banner looks now with the links removed. The clickable links now appear under your video near the subscribe button. In this video, I'll show you how to add clickable channel profile links so they'll appear under your videos. Here's how to add your channel profile links. Click on Customization YouTube Studio, click on Basic Info, scroll down to where it says Links. It says Share External Links with your viewers. They'll be visible on your channel profile and About page. You can showcase up to 14 links on your channel homepage. Just make sure that you follow the External Links policy on YouTube. Your first link will be prominently displayed near your Subscribe button. Your remaining links will show when your viewer clicks to see more links. These are the links that I previously added to my channel banner, so I don't have to redo them. If I want to add a new link, I just click Add Link. Enter the link title, Instagram, enter the URL, instagram.com forward slash dross video. Then click Publish. It says Change is published, go to Channel. As you can see, the first link is prominently displayed under my channel banner. If a viewer clicks on that, they can sign up to receive my free e-course. If they click on four more links, they'll be taken to my About page, and under Links, they'll see all the links for my channel profile. Keep in mind you can now add up to 14 links on your channel page. Here's how your channel description and channel profile links appear on your phone when using the YouTube app. Tap the YouTube app on your phone, log into YouTube channel and go to your home page. Under the channel banner, you'll see the first line of my channel description. I'm passionate about helping small business owners generate traffic, leads and sales. Under that, you'll see a prominent link and five more links. If I tap five more links, and it shows the five links of my channel profile. I tap on the link 21 days to get free traffic. It automatically goes to my landing page where viewers can enter their contact information to receive my free e-course. If I tap on the channel description and it shows the full description on my about page as well as the five channel profile links. Why did YouTube do this? This is to reduce spam and scam attempts so YouTube is retiring banner links. Here's a warning from YouTube. External links that send users to websites featuring content containing external links that violates YouTube's policies are not allowed. Here's a list of external links that are not allowed on YouTube because they violate YouTube's community guidelines. This includes links to pornography, links to websites or apps that install malware. I'll place a link to YouTube's external link policy in the description below this video. Keep in mind affiliate content or affiliate links don't violate YouTube's terms of use. If you violate YouTube's community guidelines, YouTube will remove the content and you'll receive a community guideline strike. If you get three strikes within 90 days, your channel may be terminated, so it's not worth the risk. Here's my recommendation. Make your first link your most prominent link because it'll be displayed next to your subscribe button on the channel homepage. Rewrite the first line of your channel description because the first line is prominently displayed under your channel banner. When a viewer clicks on that, they'll be taken to my About page where they can read the rest of the description and also visit my social media links. In mind, you can only edit your channel profile links in YouTube Studio from your computer, not from your phone. If you want to know how to customize your YouTube channel homepage, watch the video on the screen right now on how to brand your YouTube channel.